How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I just bought more Dogecoin. Enough to become a Dogecoin millionaire. This video is brought to you by Webull. If you don't have this brokerage account yet, you can get it. Sign up, deposit $100 of your own money. Now this is your money. You're not going to give it to them or anything. You just put it in there and you can get two free shares of stock. As soon as you get this, you can liquidate the stock. You can get your $100 back. And as a result, you would get two free shares of stock and the initial money that you put in. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. And if you sign up through this, you will help out this channel. Thank you very much. Now, when I initially thought about buying into Dogecoin, it was hovering around five to seven cents or so. I actually put in enough money in the account but I decided to sort of stagger my buys at $10,000 each buy. So I did like five or six buys or so. And before I was able to do the last buy, the Dogecoin price ramped up significantly. So what I'm left with was 933,000 Dogecoins. It's a little bit annoying to me. So ever since then, even though it was at 40 cents, 50 cents, 74 cents, <laughs> seems like quite a while ago that it's 74 cents. Now it's down to like about 19 cents or so. And ever since then, I wanted it to come down so that I can just add a little bit more to it so that I can reach that full 1 million Dogecoin, thus becoming a Dogecoin millionaire. If you look at the Dogecoin distribution, you can see that most people hold anywhere between one and 10,000 Dogecoins. Now this total amount is not very much in terms of the net asset value. You can see 25% of the wallets over here holds one to 10 Dogecoin. This is like a dollar. And 10 to 100 is 19% of the total number of addresses. So it, there appears to be a huge number of addresses with a lot of small number of Dogecoins. And then 100 to 1000, you got 25%, 1000 to 10,000, 15%. So when you go all the way up this kind of like a distribution thing, you go all the way up to 1 million Dogecoin or more, you only have 3,865 wallets or 0.09% of the total number of wallets. Now, I actually don't believe this number because you know that some of the wallets are kind of like an aggregate of all the Dogecoin wallets, such as Robinhood, which people think the highest a uh, number of Dogecoin that is being held here is uh, being held by Robinhood, which is 36 billion coins, and they hold $7 billion worth of Dogecoin. Now, this is not their money, right? This is like all the clients' money, including mine, which is about uh, $190,000 in there. So a little bit of that is my money in there. And so I start to think about what is the real distribution because you kind of want to know, okay, where do I stand in the entire Dogecoin world? Am I like in the number 1% percentile in the total number of most Dogecoins that I'm holding? Am I in the 0.1%? Am I in the top 10% or whatnot? So if you look at this, this distribution, it's 0.09%, right? But if you assume that the distribution is roughly equal within the Robinhood wallet, then you can essentially go, okay, since Robinhood wallet is 28% of the total number of coins, you can essentially just kind of inflate the number of addresses in the one to 10 million Dogecoin number over here and just sort of increase it by, um, you know, probably by one third. And so you can think of it as putting all the wallets and cutting them all up into the proper distribution and then putting it back into this Dogecoin distribution. And then you would have something a little bit more realistic in uh, where you stand in the Dogecoin world. So, you know, 3,800, so call that 4,000 and you plus another one third to this is uh, 5,300 or so. But you probably have other exchanges that have um, a, an aggregate of other addresses. I'm not too sure how many, there's probably a few, right? So this gives you an idea of where holding 1 million Dogecoin resides. It's like really, really few, it appears, um, out of all the wallets. So, you know, there's only 
let's say like about 5,000 people with more Dogecoins than I do in their wallet, in their Robinhood or whatever account. So this is very interesting. I always like to think about, okay, well, in the entire world, who has more? Obviously, you would know uh, some YouTubers. They also have more Dogecoins. Reaching this milestone of 1 million, you know, makes things a little bit easier for me in terms of uh, mental brain power. I have uh, 1 million plus 610.23. So, you know, just those are just kind of like little extra. I was thinking about, you know, just selling just 610.23 just so that I would have like a flat 1 million. But since seeing that the uh, price is so low, I'm like, uh, you know, I'll just leave it in there for now. Now, on to what I feel about this right now. Um, I've watched it drop and drop and drop and drop and um, yet I'm still holding on to it. Um, I get a lot of flack from YouTube comments, even though, you know, I make a video completely unrelated to Dogecoin. I need to reiterate that if it comes back, I, I peg it as like maybe 50-50 chance that it might break previous highs, but this is going to take a really, really long time. Much more patience than YouTube has in terms of attention span. By the time Dogecoin comes back in vogue, I guess, people would have forgotten about Dogecoin. It would be like last year's news. Just kind of remember what happened with um, Bitcoin. It was hot and then it was not. And then it was not hot for like an entire year or two, and then it came back up. So you really have to wait that long before, you know, people's interest will just kind of jump back in. People will be like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe it's, it's the next thing again. So I don't anticipate uh, Dogecoin is going to ramp up anytime soon. It's going to take many, many months, probably like another year. So personally, I don't really want to talk much more about Dogecoin because honestly, I don't have much more to say about it other than it's speculation. I have a non insignificant amount of money in there right now. Since I added to my position, I have roughly about $72,000 in there and the asset value now is about 200K or so. So I'm still up about 120, 130 or so. And no, it's not going to kill me if I lose all of this money. If it goes to zero, I'm still going to be like pedaling around doing whatever really and working at Amazon because I lost a whole bunch of money on Dogecoin. My uh, financially independent retired early status is still secured. I don't need to go back to work an engineering job because I made sure the amount that I put in is not going to affect my daily life. I put in a large amount of money, large enough for it to be significant for it to matter to me, because if I put in, you know, a really, really small amount I might, and I made like $10,000, it would not change anything for me. It would not change my life. So I wanted it to change my life. So that's why I put in a good chunk, but you also have to look at this, put it into perspective on how much assets, how much investable assets you have. So don't ever look at how much I put in and then go, oh my gosh, I can never put in that much. Or like you look at the face value of that and go, oh my gosh, that's so much money. That's like my entire life savings. You really have to look at how much you put in according to how much you can invest. I put in a fraction of what I can invest. So therefore, to me, it is like a calculated risk, sort of. Total return, I'm still up uh, 150%. The return is a lot less than 200% than from before because I put in more money. That money just kind of averaged everything down, but still, you can still go, okay, you know, I'm still up 115K. Um, initially, when it was up, you know, 200%, I put in about 50, $60,000 in there. So that's how it works out to be about 200% or so. Let's look at back at <laughs> the previous screenshot of this, where I took it at um, my total portfolio was, oh my gosh, $657,000. Uh, yeah, I could have put in an order for that Tesla Roadster. Could have, would have, should have, right? So. At times like these, you know, you kind of lick your wounds and 
you gotta just count your blessings, I guess, you know? I still drive a Tesla Model 3 Performance and sometimes you gotta be happy with what you have currently. So I'm, I gotta kind of refocus myself and go, okay, this is really, really good still. I have a roof over my head. So later on, I'm thinking about making a video about my net worth and how, <laughs> how this dramatically beat around my net worth number. You know, it shot it up and then it made it come back down, but I am still overall up. Um, you know, I'm doing well in terms of um, my increase in net worth. I actually increased my net worth over, you know, the last year or so. Uh, rather than contrary to what people might think that I lost a whole bunch of money, maybe I need to come out of early retirement or whatnot. This is not the case. So thank you for watching. Check out my Webull referral link and get your two free shares down in the video description below. Like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.